Good afternoon, everybody. Mike Brailsford of Brailsford of Works. Thank you for joining me back on my channel today. It's Christmas Day 2021. All of my kids are away at their respective in-laws today, and uh, so my wife and I are waiting till tomorrow to have Christmas with them. So I'm out here in my shop doing some stuff. <clears throat> I had a big pecan log that I've had now for uh, more than a year, and uh, I just recently had the two biggest parts of the log slabbed into three inch slabs which I'll use for river tables at some point and uh, the smaller log I now am uh, I want to cut up into bulb blanks <clears throat> so I'm going to do another video today on cutting bulb blanks and so let's get right to it all right so I'm going to start with this one right here and what I want to put it in an orientation that will best take advantage figure and uh, and its width to get the largest bowls and the bowls with the most figure. So one of the things you're going to do is you're going to look at your where your pith is and my it's right there and what you want to do is you want to make a cut on this side of the pith and on this side of the pith and uh, I always save this wood afterwards because everything which I will be able to make a nice platter out of. This piece ended up going right through the pith, so I wasn't able to cut that off. But what I can do is I'll seal this up with pentacryl and everything, and uh, when I turn it, I'll end up turning the pith off that bottom side. Same thing with this one, because it kind of got split. And then again, one more thin one, which probably be able to get a platter out of that. 
All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so before I proceed on to the next one, let me just show you this. This is the top piece of that log that I'm working on right now. It's This piece has three, it was three limbs that had come out of the top and spread out. I cut off the top uh, about 14 inches. And I'm going to, instead of cutting this into bulb blanks, I'm going to turn this whole thing into a large uh, vase of some kind. And uh, I'm saving this for my, my new lathe, which is due to arrive within a uh, week and a half or so. And um, I'm very excited to try it. And this piece will be one of the first ones I put on there. So, just wanted to let you know. Stay tuned. Alright, so we got this next log. I'm going to try to do more of the same. Again, here's the pith. I'm going to try to avoid it here and here, um, but this, this pecan is so hard. It's a fairly new chain, but boy, it struggles, struggles, struggles going through this pecan. And uh, so what I'm actually going to do, I think this is this long dimension here. I'll probably turn it so I'm cutting this direction and get wider bowls out of it. So let me get this thing turned up so I can, I can cut it. So it's the same thing on this side. Beautiful figure here. Um, some bark inclusion also, but uh, this also will be a, a beautiful ball. All right, so this bowl is a little, this log's a little more straightforward. I will also still try to cut and keep this. I know this is a smaller log. I probably would going to cut, I'll probably cut this end off, this end off, and then straight down in the middle and give me two bowl blanks, which I'll eventually turn the, the pith out of it when I, when I can. But I want to keep this where this limb was because there will be some nice figure up here. beautiful figure here where the limbs coming out so even when I cut it in a circle this will still be there this will be a nice figure it's the same thing on the other side over here it'll just be this, this is nice nice wood nice wood all right so this log is the same as the last another limb I want to preserve some of this figure so I'm just gonna cut one straight cut right through the middle I'll probably take a little bit off the outside just to give it a flat side. Two more 
more mid-size bull blanks that'll be ready to go. Just put some pentacryl or anchor seal on them and they'll be good to go in a couple years. All right, this is the last of the big ones I have to do. Again, here's the pith. I'm gonna try to cut it here and here, here. And I'm just gonna take the edge off of this one right there. This might give me a small bowl here, but uh, we'll just see how it comes out again. This pecan is, is brutal on the saw, on the chain, and uh, you try to do what you can, but sometimes they get squirrely on you. I have three other smaller ones left like this, but I think I'm going to leave these intact as they are. I'm just going to seal up the ends and just hang on to the three, these three as they are. Alright, so, boy I made a mess out of that cut, or at least the first one. Oh, I still haven't taken it off, but but these will still be very large salad bowls, and they'll be good to go. All right, so that's it for today. Um, just knock out some quick bowl blanks, uh, some wood that I've had sitting here for quite a while. It's ready for it to be put away because it's in the way of my shop edition, and. Uh, so might as well get it cut up and get it stored. All right, uh, everybody, you please have a Merry Christmas. Um, leave me some comments. I answer everything.